So if I locate the Big Dipper on here. I see it! Oh my goodness, I see it, I see it, I see it, look at that. It's so faint, oh my god. Why can't I see it with my own eyes? It's so not like... Oh man. Look at that baby. We saw the covet. Oh my goodness. In this video, we are, and by we, I'm talking about baby, daddy, and mama. Mama's gonna be here real soon, but um, we're gonna be looking for Comet Neowise uh, on this beautiful, breezy day. You got baby, mama, me trying to capture Comet. It's supposed to be visible around sunset time or shortly after sunset. Let's uh, let's get this thing set up. I brought the uh, handy dandy tripod. What I've got here, my good old Canon FD classic lens. On top of that, I've added a 2x teleconverter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and mama's like, yo, this guy's boring. So let's just look at the baby. <laughs> is it me or do you see like a haze on the horizon? Yeah, I think so. A little bit. So we turn this on. Do you see that jet stream in the distance? Look how fast it's going. And that's like at a thousand millimeters. That thing's so far away. That thing is gone. Okay, so that's definitely not the comet. It's supposed to be somewhere over there by uh, one of the stars known as Capella. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Are you recording video? I'm trying to see uh, the comet, new, new wise. Yeah, it's supposed to be in that region, but it's kind of hazy. You can see it in the daytime? No, they said it's supposed to be visible in Houston around sunset. So they said it's supposed to be visible up until the end of the month. So you'll like a time lapse? Well, I'm just trying to capture a video. Um, if I could get maybe a photo, I don't know. I'm, I, my thing was I just wanted to see it, you know? The next time it comes around, it'll be another 6,000 years. Wow, that's pretty special. Yeah. Let's see here. I wonder what that bright thing is in the distance, though. So come over here, come over here. So you see in that distance, all the way in the distance, like this little yellow bright thing. So right here, that picture is in fact McDonald's. <laughs> Not brought to you by McDonald's in any way whatsoever. Failed comet hunting. Why are you crying? Oh, you, you, don't cry. No need, no need to cry. Look what's around you. Look how pretty everything is. Whoa. It's uh, almost nine o'clock. This is, would you say this is accurate to what you see right now? How my face looks in real life? Yeah. Yeah. And then we bump it up. Bam. Hey you. So uh, we did not get to see any Neowise Comet. As you can see back there, there's nothing. No comet, can't see anything yet. I think part of it is because there's a lot of haze that's uh, all the way out over there. What are you crying about? Hmm? <laughs> this, this is, it's too windy for you? Is it too windy for you? Okay, I cover you up. You know when you blow air on his face, he goes, <laughs> that's yeah. what he was doing. Oy. Back at the park again, um, no comet. I think one of the reasons why I can't see the comet, I should be able to see it right now. At least I think I should. I think the reason I cannot see the comet, let me show you. This is the challenge that I'm dealing with, right? Is just there's so much light pollution uh, happening here right now. Let me just show you the, uh, the fact that right now, so that right there is Jupiter, all right? And the faint little thing next to Jupiter right there on the bottom left is Saturn right and what you're seeing so what I can see with my eyes is a little bit more clear but not by that much and so I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to uh, 
find some because the Big Dipper it's literally it's so hard for me to see the Big Dipper right now and it's supposed to be among the clearest stars in the sky and unfortunately like the comet is supposed to be like literally like the Big Dipper right now is it's, it's somewhere like here right and then the comet should be maybe it's already set but when I got here it should have been like right around there and um, unfortunately I can't see it so I gotta find something uh, find a location that's a little bit better in terms of uh, the quality of the light so that's uh, that right there that's uh, it's Jupiter and <laughs> you can't even see Saturn this is my front-facing camera All right, we'll figure this out. Hey, baby. How are you today? You ready to see a comet? Yeah? You want to see a comet? You're like, I don't know where that is. Yeah, yeah, you're excited. You're excited. You have no idea what's happening right now. But when you get older, you can tell people, I was there. I was there when the comet was being spotted. And it's not going to be seen for another 6,000 years. I know. It's going to be so cool. Oh, yo, yo, what do you want? Okay, okay, here, here, here. Nom, 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 nom. He's like, I don't care about a comment. I just want to pass it by. Nom, 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 nom. See you on the road. <laughs> this is how far we have to go in Houston. I mean, to the point where we see cows. <laughs> Hoping we should see, we should definitely see some stars. Okay, so it is just after sunset. And uh, right now, we're gonna set up. Now the question though, hold on. Let's pull up the uh, sky map. So first things first, let's set up the tripod. If you want, you can set this down over here. Um, I need to be able to see the Big Dipper. Once I know where the Big Dipper is, it's, it's supposed to be directly underneath it. I just, I just need to know where to point the thing, unfortunately. Okay, let's do this. So right now, we're gonna try to take a picture of the Big Dipper. At least that's gonna be the first step in capturing the comet. You see those three stars? One, two, three. That's the tail. Mm. Right, and then, that's the, uh, those are the four, uh, the four uh, of the Big Dipper. And then the comet should become visible somewhere right below there. So if I locate the Big Dipper on here. Oh, here we go. I see it on, I, I see it on the camera. You see it? Oh my goodness, I see it, I see it, I see it. Look at that. Oh yeah, I see it. Oh man. Why can't I see it with my own eyes? It's so not like... Oh man, look at that baby, we saw the comet, oh my goodness. This here is the sky, we're looking at a 50 millimeters, Big Dipper coming down, right? And as we descend, there's the comet right there. I still cannot see it with my own eyes. So we've got Jupiter shining all nice and bright. Uh, we got a bunch of other stars up there. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I wish I could see it with my, with my naked, like with my eyes. Like right now, everything is like made to be uh, extra bright. <sighs> I got my telescope and everything. Like, in fact, I can't even see my telescope right now. That's how, uh, that's how dark it is. Uh, but I've got this thing stopped down and I'm at a 360 degree shutter. Uh, basically, trying to get this camera to be as bright as possible. Uh, let, let me, let me scroll make it even more and uh yeah 
let's do the telephoto lens. An f2.8, manual focus, focusing to infinity and beyond. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Okay, there we go. Woo, I see it, oh boy. Okay, 200 millimeters, tighten that up. And come take a look over here. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. Oh, that's a dope, uh, that's a dope focus pull. <laughs> right there. 